I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, what we're going to explore is an example using the derivative of tangent x that I just derived in my last video. So if you want to see that again, go back to the other video to see how, in fact, we got the derivative of tangent x to equal 1 over cosine squared x. So let's explore an example. I have a function right here, f of x equals tangent of 5x squared. 5x squared is the argument that is put into this function tangent. Now keep in mind, when I have a function inside another function, I have a composition of functions. And when I have a composition of functions that I'm trying to actually find the derivative of, I have to also remember the chain rule. So on top of this using the tangent rules derivative, um, I'm gonna actually have here a chain rule that I have to layer on top. So here we go. We have f prime of x to start out for my derivative, and I see right away that my outside function of this tan of 5x squared is in fact tangent. So I remind myself, oh, the derivative of tangent x is simply one over cosine squared x, but note that is true when your arguments are just x's. My argument though is something different, it's a 5x squared. So just in, in just like we have with the chain rule, what we're gonna do is keep that inside function intact. So we have here, instead of a tangent, I'm gonna take its derivative, I have one divided by cosine squared, but I'm not gonna write the x here because my argument is 5x squared instead. So here I have cosine squared of 5x squared in that denominator. But I'm not done because that was only the derivative of the outside function, which was the tangent. Per the chain rule, I now have to take this function and multiply it by the derivative of that 5x squared. Okay. Always, always, when you have a chain rule problem, you're gonna have two parts that are gonna be multiplied together. First part, the derivative of the outside function. Second part, the derivative of the inside function. So if I clean this up a little bit, I can now write f prime of x is equal to one divided by cosine squared five x squared times, and now just reveal what the derivative of five x squared is, which in fact is gonna give us 10 x. And then what you could just do if you wanted to simplify a little bit, you can go ahead and put the 10 x as the numerator in one fraction and kind of merge the two pieces together and finally write it as f prime of x equals 10x divided by cosine squared 5x squared. And just in case you're wondering that maybe, maybe, maybe you could actually simplify by dividing out maybe part of the 10 or the 10x with the 5x squared, you cannot because that 5x squared again is the argument into this, in this case, the cosine squared function. So we must leave it just as is. This is my final answer for this derivative involving a tangent function. So next time we're gonna explore maybe a little bit more about derivative rules of different kinds of functions.